Today, Kevin and I are gonna be trying a variety of things. The new uh, uh, savory treats. Chips. Chips. And well, crunchy stuff. Crunchy stuff. <laughs> these are chips. Uh, these are the Pringles Texas barbecue brisket chips. These are Snyder's of Hanover hot honey pieces. They have Kettle Brand limited edition sweet and spicy gochujang. And these are the Doritos Baja Fiery Mango. So the Doritos Fiery Mango were $2.69 at Speedway. That's how we got it in a little bag. Yeah, it's like a big red bag. The, uh, the Kettle Brand were $3.99 at Meyer. The Snyder's of Hanover were $3.62 at Walmart. And the uh, Pringles were $2.29 at Kroger. We literally bought these at four different stores. Speedway, <laughs> Meyer, Walmart, and Kroger. And you know, that's what you have to do if you want to try a bunch of find the new stuff, you have to be willing to go to all these stores, which yeah. we enjoy anyway, yeah. though. We really do. Uh, so these are limited time only Pringles, Texas barbecue brisket, naturally flavored. It says about 14 crisps, one ounce, 28 grams is 150 calories. There's six servings in here. Uh, these are manufactured by Pringles in Jackson, Tennessee. Okay. Go on down to Jackson. Do you think of that song every time you hear Jackson? No. I'm going to Jackson. No. I love that song. Okay. Here we go. Hmm. I tell you what, there's lots of um, coating on there. It's got kind of a little um, zing to it, doesn't it? You have to eat another one. I like I the like, barbecue. I like the amount of salt. There's salt and, and there's a little heat there. I got a little heat in the back of my throat. Just a little tingle. It's not strong. It's not hot. It's just a little tingle. Like pepper. It tastes like steak seasoning. Yeah. To me. Like a lot of yeah. pepper. Like lemon pepper or pepper or something like that. It tastes like, you know, you're getting ready to have your steak on the grill and you, you doctor it up before you take it out. That's what it tastes like. It tastes like all those spices that you use to doctor it up. And um, so it's not hot, like flaming hot. It's not like that. It's just the, um, the slight heat from the spices. Yeah. Yeah, like I said, it's like pepper, salt and pepper, pepper. Do you think it tastes like meat? It does have a meaty flavor. It has more of a, just a smoky barbecue spices flavor. Like the spices that have been on the grill. Like right. you can, like, like you rub, dry rubbed your brisket. Yes. And like, you let it set yeah. and you slow cooked it. Mm -hmm. It's not the meat flavor, it's more of the spices that you put on. Yeah. And some of the barbecue. And some of the grill flavor. Yeah. That grill, yeah. that the smoky that grilled flavor. Smoky grill, that charcoal flavor. Mm -hmm. I like them. Um, I, I like, like it them. too. I like it much better than like some of the chicken ones that uh, they've the had. In the I don't past. like the chicken ones. Uh, yeah. The, the, chicken, the, the, all the chicken ones have always tasted like bouillon cubes to me. Mm -hmm. This isn't my fa favorite Pringles. No, uh, good. But I do like it. This would be one that I, I could definitely eat the container. No, yeah. and, and try them. I would recommend you try them. If you like that, if yeah. it sounds interesting. But they do, do they taste like, like we've had chips before that are like steak and they taste like steak. Yeah. This isn't that. This is more the stuff you would put on the brisket. On the steak, yes, but not the steak itself. Yeah. Yeah. Or the brisket. Uh, or the brisket, yeah. The hunk of meat, honey. Uh, Snyder's of Hanover, limited edition, hot honey pieces, a 10 ounce bag. Uh, 10 servings, one ounce, 28 grams, about a third of a cup is 140 calories. Sweet and spicy, plus the craveable crunch of Snyder's of Hanover pretzel pieces. Now that's a match made in heaven. Okay. Uh, let me say one more thing. These are not, it tastes like barbecue. It's not the sweet barbecue. No, like it's not sugary sweet. sweet. This is more of the savory, spicy barbecue. Agree completely. Yeah. I didn't think they were. I didn't think about that until just They now. were not sweet at all. Mm -hmm. No. Okay. No, I'm glad you said that. Okay, so these are pretzel pieces. As love, you say. love, 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 love these pretzels. Snyder's, of, uh, these are distributed out of uh, Charlotte, North Carolina. They're made by Snyder's Lance. Uh, the pretzels have some of the best texture. Made in a facility that does not process peanuts.
It's funny, you do get the, the sweet, like the honey flavor. I'm but, tasting something completely different. You're gonna think I'm crazy. I would say beer. Beer. Maybe, I could see that maybe, a little bit. It, it tastes like beer. Okay, well it's hot. Yeah, it, it's hot. It's but, all on my tongue. That that tastes like beer to me. Yeah. Um, this is the heat that's got the little stinging heat, like a little needles. And I want another one really bad because I love that beer flavor because you don't get that very often. It doesn't beer. taste dead on beer, but it's it's sweet. But it, I can see some. Aren't they the ones that did the Oktoberfest? Yeah. And they had that. Yeah. Uh, that that's what that tastes it, like. It doesn't taste like beer necessarily to me. It tastes more like honey and just spices, but. I think it has the beer. For the, it's I'm wondering beer if you're getting a mixture heat. of the honey and the and the pretzel itself. I'm telling you, that's what it tastes like to me. Beer and If it and tastes hot. like beer, I would be like, yeah, I don't want well, it. But please let us know what you think. Uh, yeah. But they are hot. They are very, very hot. Like I said, it's still stinging needle. I still don't think, for me, it's not as intense as flaming hot. Oh, no. But it is hot. No, it's definitely hot though. Your whole tongue will be hot. Okay. And these other two, we weren't sure the level of heat on these last two at all. So and the texture, I love uh, the texture. Yeah, it's you can't beat terrific. Any of the Snyder's I hand over their pretzels. So pretzels. even though it was really hot, I still wanted to eat another oh, yeah. one, and I would have if we didn't have other things sitting here to review because I've got to get that. Oh yeah, I love the texture heat down a little bit, but the texture is wonderful. Kettle brim, which we've always liked, kettle brim, mm -hmm. limited edition, sweet and spicy gogu chang. Naturally flavored potato chips, gluten free. Um, that's good. Uh, dive into the rich, complex world of gochujang, a traditional Korean delight that adds a burst of sweet and spicy excitement to every bite. Uh, see, non GMO project verified gluten free. Six servings per container, one ounce, 28 grams, about 13 chips is 140 calories. These are distributed out of Salem, Oregon. Yeah, it's been a while since I really ate regularly kettle chips. Because they took away his favorite the maple flavor. Bacon. The maple bacon. Um, why? Yeah. Well, I needed why? to quit eating them anyway because they're, they're not Yeah, but healthy. why? We but were like I know. exclusively they were in, buying those. And they were uh, always sold out. So it's like, other people are buying them too. Yeah. Um, they're, but they're always been greasy. Like in the bottom, you get to the bottom of the bag and they're like, Done. Got some different spices in there. What? Well, mm. I don't like the followers like you do. I'd rather have flat on my tongue. Well, if we took a poll. There's a lot of people out there that like the fold overs. Uh -huh. There are. I mean, really, I think you have just as many people that like fold overs as you do that like the regular ones, really. Um, I like it because it's more crunch. It's just like I'm getting more out of one chip than you're getting. I like it on my, the lamb final time so you get the full flavor. Um, Those are good. They're different. Oh, I like them a lot. Yeah. Um, they kind of remind you of a souped up salt and pepper chip. Well, let me tell you, they have potatoes. That's the number one ingredient. Imagine, Imagine that. that. Uh, vegetable oil. Sugar, spice. Sugar does not surprise me either. Mm -mm. Uh, sugar, spices, salt. Cayenne pepper sauce. I can picture the cayenne pepper. Onion powder, garlic powder, red bell pepper, no. citric acid, yeast extract, molasses powder, vinegar solids, and natural flavor. Um, but they're not telling you the natural flavors. There's some other seasonings in there besides what they mentioned. Yeah, there's definitely other seasonings yeah. that, that I don't know what they are. But there is... Um, they're those exotic seasonings we don't buy. <laughs> yeah, really. Um, they're... Um, they they feel there's a little greasiness to them, which I like because I like a greasy chip. Um, so there's a little greasiness to them, but there's a sweetness to them. But then there's also a heat to them. Yeah, yeah there is a heat to them, but it's a pleasant heat. It's not like stingy. It's not or, as stingy as these were. No, it's not like that at all. It's, it's just a warmth. Yeah, I like that. It, yeah, it's more like a warmth, 
but then you get all the the, the garlic and the onion. Lots and of it. seasonings, that's yes, for sure. Yes, they, they season them well. Yes, but I, I think they're absolutely delicious. And they have a little bit of a, of a, you know, we said the Pringles didn't have that meaty kind of flavor. These mm. have a little hint of like a meaty kind of I flavor. I see where you're saying. I that. mean, it might be vegetables in reality, but I'm just saying that's what comes across as kind of like, mm -hmm. the seasonings make you think of like it's a seasoned meat of some kind. Well, and now that you're saying meat, um, Give me that greasiness that you're picking up. Okay, too. that's what I was gonna say. When you when you put a, a roast in the crock pot, it forms its own juices, and it's the, just that meat juice. That's what this is like. When I say greasiness, it's more like a meat juice, like a, like a broth. Or yes, and, but it's it's really really good, and I would totally get those. Yeah. Food. Now some I, of you are not gonna like it because it's, it's very strong, but but if you there, I would try them if you like some a little spicy. Yeah. Now Doritos, I'm kind of ticked at Doritos because I've been holding off on all of these chips because Doritos, because I really wanted to try the Doritos Baja Fiery Mango with the new Doritos mystery flavor. It's like a flaming mystery, mystery, mystery that's coming out. Well, they're trying to do this whole gimmick to where you have to order if you want early access to them, you have to order from walmart.com and you have to get them that way to get the early, if you want to try them now. Yeah, but that's past. I think the early part's past. Now yeah. they just don't have them in stock. Okay, here. I was going to say, now you don't know when they're going to be out in stores. They stores. just don't have them out. Yeah, you don't know when they're going to be out. So... We could order them, but it costs us like $8 in shipping. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it, was, it, was, it was $7. Yeah. If you didn't spend $35 or more, you had to pay $7 shipping. Well, I'm just not doing it. I'm not doing it, not falling for it. So, this is the review we're getting. We'll, we'll get them sooner. Baja Fiery Mango. I've only seen them at Walmart on the internet, so it's a Walmart thing. Two and a half servings per container, 11 chips, 28 grams is 150 calories. This whole bag is 380 calories for 74.4 grams. These are made by Frito-Lay in Plano, Texas. Here we go. I immediately smell Dorito. Like you smell chip. Dorito when you open that bag. That's, I mean, if you're blindfolded, you know. That Sounds is like a Dorito. Little lime in there or something. Baja Fiery Mango. Did you get a big one? The regular size. It definitely has that sweet mango flavor. And then it's got the kick of heat kicks in. Let's see. Mm. They're very sweet. Spices, pepperoni. I don't want to know because they're hot. And they're not enjoyable. Brown sugar, honey, garlic, <laughs> butter, cheddar <laughs> cheese. I don't like the mango. I like the crunchiness of them, of course. I, I don't mind the sweetness of it, but the, it's the underlying mango giving it the sweetness I don't really care for. And they're hot. I don't mind the mango because I do agree with you. That's what's making them, they're, it's giving them an extra flavor. Mm. So you get that Doritos cheddar cheese Dorito flavor, but you're getting a lot of sweetness from that mango. Oh, I actually think it's nice. They're, I sweet, actually they're think a sweet it, chip on it. Yeah, it's a sweet chip. I actually really like that part. But the fiery part, is that what they're called? Fi yeah. yeah, the fiery part is fiery. Yeah. It, it is very, very hot. It is, it's it's that flaming hot. Kind of heat. It kind of heat, yeah, yeah, it's that intensity. And if you keep eating these, <clears throat> you're gonna be numb mm. um, because uh, that's it's a lot of heat. I don't think they're as hot as like a. I don't either. Hot, but I don't they think are they're the as same hot. kind of heat. Right, they're not as flaming hot. Like if a flaming hot Cheeto is a ten, these aren't a ten. These no. would probably be an eight point five. No. But they're getting there. So these aren't as hot as the regular flaming hot. I don't mm -hmm. think either because I think that mango helps. Yeah, I wish almost they'd cut down the heat and made it like. A spicy mango, but not had it like as hot, mm -hmm. and I think more people would enjoy it. Yeah, if they didn't make them as. I hot. think so too. I think if they had done, yeah, uh, kind of a, a medium version, mm -hmm. because give us a little bit of heat. I don't mind a little bit of heat, yeah. but this is just too much for me. Uh, so I'm glad we found this in a small bag. Yeah, because I want those all the time. But like the these, 
These are a good amount of heat. They are a little hot, but they're, they're a good amount of yeah. heat, but they're a different heat. Okay. These are hot. These are as hot as those, honestly, mm -hmm. I think. Yeah. Um, but I wouldn't necessarily get those all the time either because they are so hot. Right. The ones I'm picking out of this group are the kettle brim. Um, That's the ones I'm picking. That I would actually, like, I can go to the store. Let's say they cost exactly the same amount. They're all at the exact same store, so right. it's really convenient. Which one are you picking off the shelf? I'm picking the kettle brim. Just, I just like that flavor the best out of these. Um, yeah, me too, probably. And I'm I sitting, know you love those pretzel I, I love the hot, I love And I do too, anyway. but those are hot. They're too hot. But I do I'm, like that beer flavor. I was also debating a bit between the, um, the Pringles, but I, Pringles are not something I'll enjoy eating a lot because the texture is just not as good and crunchy I, as I like. I told somebody, I, I've told them that the Pringles have a very distinct potato flavor. And no matter what they put with them, they still have that same potato, yeah. that underlying potato flavor. And they've got a crispiness to it, but they're not as crunchy as like a regular potato. Yeah, they're, they're not like this. Yeah, they're, they're kind of like yeah. they've squished something together and well, and they did right. and made it into something else. That's kind of what they got. So, <coughs> right. So I wouldn't pick these first, but these are probably my number two. If these were a little less hot, then I would probably pick these. In so are you picking these too? Yeah. Okay, there yeah. we go. So you'll have to let us know if you've tried any of these. I'm sure you won't have tried them all at one time like we did, but if you've tried them, you can let us know. Uh, I'll have a picture for you at the end, and thanks for watching.